Welcome to our video on how to fold a six panel accordion, creating a kit for Always Boho, one of our paper sets. That This is a set there, and we have just wanted to create a paper run with a little tuck fold, and that is what we will be seeing today and how we colored it a little bit. So we'll see you on the other side. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. So very quickly to start out with, I have the colors of the watercolor crystals that we used, um, both the Brescio and Ken Oliver Color Burst brands in the little spots where they were used to create the color on the paper. And remember, this is the type of paper that we love to use, which is the white craft on a roll. I can have a link below, but the watercolor crystals were, cre were applied and then after they dried, I used some of that Distress, I believe it was the rose, tattered rose, just to fill in. You can still see the white on this side, but on the other side, I just didn't want there to be that stark, stark white. And so the tattered rose did a beautiful job. Now that we've talked about the color, we'll get right into the fold. So in order to create this little tuck plus kind of pocket area. I did a very simple, about an inch, maybe an inch and a quarter of a fold. And that's what you saw there. Now, I'm just laying out the cards, the six panels. I, I like using the playing cards, you don't have to, but they work very nicely to create kind of an idea. And in general, I use about a half inch on the either side and then what you see there with the inch to inch and a half is going to be the spine allowing for all of the other little things that are going to be added into the actual journal and you can see that the total run overall is 21 inches this is a really great size for a six panel plus it leaves a bit on the end which i will show you here in a minute uh, what you can kind of do with those but let's kind of get back to the fold so the reason I lay out the cards and do that is to create that center fold between each panel that may adjust depending on what other items and things you want to attach to that panel or tuck into the pockets all the other little bibs and bobs and flips and flops that end up on these panels. Certainly with the way that we create them, a lot of times you can do um, even a tri-fold flip out or up or to the side, those sorts of things. So right now I just get a general middle fold allowing for those sections to grow a bit. And that's one of the nice things about creating those little pockets is that it then allows for that additional stuff that I just spoke of. So now the overall journal is, in fact, here are some examples of the different types of journal. I have never folded anything probably the same twice. Um, I'm sure some at some point in time I will repeat a fold, but you can kind of see there that that spine, that inner part is very, very important. I went ahead and created a little spacer to just show. Uh, this was just a little kit that I put together for someone and I wanted them to be able to see the different ways to utilize this type of run of paper. With the fold, the tuck, you could even, instead of gluing over the cards down like I have them coming out right now, you could actually tuck them in and glue them down not glue them down at all and just use those. I would say um, one of the suggestions is that if you don't have a panel or something that you're going to glue down, like the card, you're going to want to glue those center fold sections where, where the fold is because then it holds the integrity of that panel together better. Um, otherwise you do need something sturdy like that's one of the reasons it's really great to use these playing cards to just glue them down it gives that section that panel structure and holds it in place 
Otherwise, with the paper, it just gets really flimsy. And that's one of the reasons I put that spine holder in there too, just to kind of help remind the creator that that's there to just allow for that space because you're gonna need it. Those pockets are going to fill up and pull out. Now, one of the things I was thinking with the additional piece to this particular journal is there's extra on the end there. I wanted to show that there's the option to tear that piece off and then maybe attach it on the outer part, like the little white piece of paper, and then glue it so that way you have a wrap. That's just one idea of using that. Uh, otherwise, you can keep the little piece that's at the end and just use it as another panel. Lots of options for sure. I really hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please be sure to go ahead and like this video below. Leave us a comment. We love those. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and be sure to click that bell. Thank you again for watching. We'll see you next time.